So let's talk about home inspectors. Hey everybody, Keith Campbell here with Keith and Sheila Realty Group, powered by OPT Realty. The good, the bad, the ugly, the magnificent, why they're so important, why you need to take time to understand the different kinds of inspectors, what their role is, how you should be very involved if you're buying a house with your home inspector. And your agent who represents you, who has a fiduciary duty to serve your best interest, has a responsibility to interact with that home inspector as well. Now, what I'm fixing to tell you, there's brokers out there, managing brokers, who are saying something completely different. And I'm gonna tell you why I think they're wrong. But what are my qualifications for telling you how to hire a home inspector? and what to expect from a home inspector and how to interact with them. I was a professional home inspector for 13 years, inspected almost 4,000 homes, apartment buildings, hotels, and commercial buildings. Since then, I've been a licensed, high-producing part of a spouse team for the past 12 years. One other thing, I was a general contractor for 15 years, renovated and restored over 100 properties, most of them historical homes and buildings. I don't know everything, but I have acquired quite a bit of knowledge and experience over the past 25 years. And I wanna share it with you. And I wanna help you make good decisions so that when you hire a realtor and make sure they serve your best interest as your fiduciary. Let's dig into it. So what's the first thing you should do after you go under contract? The first thing you need to do is hire a experienced, knowledgeable home inspector who has the heart of a teacher. In Texas, which is what I can speak to, that's where I was a licensed home inspector for 13 years, there's three kinds. There's apprentice inspector, there's real estate inspector, and there's professional inspector. The first two, apprentice and real estate inspectors, have to be sponsored by a professional inspector. So my suggestion is don't hire a apprentice inspector or a real estate inspector. They do not have the education, they do not have the same amount of training, you want a professional, preferably one that's been in the business three to five years at a minimum. The inspectors on our list have been in the business a long time because we want our clients to have the choice to pick from very experienced, very knowledgeable professional inspectors. Second thing is you need to talk to them. Don't let your realtor hire them for you. Number one, they shouldn't be doing that. You need to call, you need to talk to them. I have a list of questions you can ask them to find the right one. If you ask for our list of inspectors that we've vetted, they've already answered these questions. We've been working with them for many years. But if you're hiring somebody off the Trek website, you need to ask certain questions. Those questions are gonna help you vet and get the best home inspector you can. Should you go to the home inspection? Now, this is where I'm gonna differ from some of the broker, brokers out there who tell their agents don't go because it's more liability for them. I got news for them. If you did not go to that inspection, uh, a plaintiff attorney is gonna ask is, so were you at the inspection? What did you think? What did you observe? And you go, well, I wasn't there because my broker told me not to go. And if you're a broker out there and tell your agents to show up to the inspection, you don't need to be there for the whole thing. You wanna be near the end. Let them do their job. Don't interfere. Don't get in the way. Don't distract them. A good inspector when he's done is gonna highlight the things that are important, walk you around the house, give you some education on how certain systems and components work. And they're gonna point out the things that are a real concern to them and then you're gonna get that detailed report later that day or the following day. And remember, those reports are based on the standards of practice of Texas. They are very detailed. Um, we don't do code inspections, but a lot of the codes pop up. And remember, codes change every three years, whether it's electrical, plumbing, HVAC. So when you walk into a 30 year old house, there's gonna be a lot of things on that report that show it's out of standards. Doesn't mean it has to be replaced, fixed, repaired. It's just information. Your realtor should have enough experience to walk you through the process of what you need to ask to be repaired. Uh, the big things are foundation, plumbing, roof, HVAC. Those are the big things. If it's a VA loan, you wanna look for uh, water damaged wood. You wanna look for conducive conditions for termites. Those are all things that are specific to the VA um, loan and the VA appraiser is gonna be looking for. Let's talk about how this works. When we have a buyer go under contract, I give them a list. So you're welcome to hire anybody you want who's licensed in the state of Texas. I think there's about 3,500 or so. You make the decision. You hire them, you talk to them. If you hire somebody off of our list, 
they've been vetted. They are very good. Doesn't mean they can't make a mistake. We all make mistakes. It's very rare they do it because they do this every day, twice a day, five days a week. They're very good at what they do. All right, you're gonna schedule it with them. They're gonna schedule it with showing time or make contact with the listing agent and get that handled, or maybe even get the buyer's agent involved. Your buyer's agent needs to show up. If they say they're not coming, you really ought to consider whether you want to work with that agent. I, I used to give a lot of classes on this at, at different brokerages, and I will tell you, it's a great opportunity for the agent to show up at the end of the inspection and learn, to become a master of their craft as an agent, to be able to point out some of these things when they're showing houses. Look, I'm no longer licensed as a professional inspector, but the knowledge I have, the experience I have, I can't wipe from my mind. So when I'm showing a house and walking through it, I'm pointing out things to the client, setting their expectation for what to expect. If we go under contract on this property, what's gonna pop up on the inspection? I'm not going up in the attic. I'm not running zip level, checking you know, foundation measurements. I'm not opening up electrical panels. I'm not doing any of those things. I'm not getting on the roof. I'm just telling them, hey, that looks like a potential problem. Inspector will dig deeper into it and we'll, we'll negotiate a repair or a concession. You need to read the report. You need to know what you're buying. You know, when you buy a house, you're not just paying for the cost of the house. You also have to take into account cost of ownership. How old's the AC? What kind of Freon, or excuse me, refrigerant does it have? What about the plumbing? Is there a clean out to be able to inspect it and do a hydrostatic drain test? You know, are the what size are the electrical breakers on the sub panel? That'd be all your 110, 115 volt stuff. Some of these older houses have 15 amp circuits with 15 amp wire. It's gonna limit what you can plug into your house on a particular outlet or a, a daisy chain of outlets, multiple outlets. Um, there's just all these things you need to think about. What's it gonna cost me to maintain this house? Or in some cases, even update it and remodel it. Ask lots of questions. If you're not happy with the answers, tell your agent to find somebody who does have the answers, who does have that experience if they're lacking it. It's very, very important. We take our job, Sheila and I take our job very, very serious. We are helping our clients buy the most expensive asset they own or sell it, depending on the situation. So we treat people the way we want to be treated. Again, I don't know everything, but I know quite a bit when it comes to home inspections and real estate. And if I don't know, I have resources that I can go to and get answers. Nothing wrong with saying I don't know, but I'll find out and get back to you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to answer them. If you need recommendations for an inspector, uh, a structural engineer, if you think there's foundation issues, plumbers, any of that kind of stuff, let us know. We'd love to help you and give you the resources. Make sure your buyer agent brings value to the process. You don't need a paper pusher. You need an advocate. You need somebody who's going to serve your best interests and always look after you because this is a big, big financial transaction. You can learn more about us, contact us, uh, call or text us at 830-837-1071. My email is keithcampbellrealtor at gmail.com. Our website is keithandsheila.com. Tons of information on there. Uh, just loaded with great information and videos and documents that all about buying, selling, home inspections, investing, veteran stuff. Everything is on our website. Hey, hope you have an awesome and blessed rest of the week. And we'll talk to you real soon.